So at this point, I've tried out the Oculus Quest 2s and here's my honest review. First things first, I have to say, the experience was just so, so, so fun immersive like seriously it feels like you're in a movie theater but you're so immersed in this new world you really feel like you're there and then you forget that the real world exists so a few things that happened like when you first put them on uh you have to sort of like you know put put the settings on and all of that um but i wasn't able to record that screen so you put on the settings and then you actually um on the flooring you have to like show the flooring if that makes sense or you have to show the floor level so you put your things down these bad boys you put it on the floor so it can like actually accurately know where the floor is and then it then allows you to to draw out the spaces on the on the floor that you can move in and so this is why it's actually pretty cool because um you know that this is this is a space that you can do whatever in and you should have a big enough space for you to move around in so so that it makes sure that you don't bump into anything you don't hit anything you don't do anything like that as long as you stay within your barriers and when you're out of your barriers you can visually see that you're going out of your barriers so that's another really good component to make sure that it's safe and all of that a few other suggestions that they made were uh for example not um not doing it outdoors because literally if you do it outdoors you can't really control the environment that you're in you don't know if like a dog is going to come and like bark at you and like bite you or something or something crazy could happen and because you're not conscious in the real world it's going to be really difficult for you so it's better to just do it indoors and pick a room that it could just be you alone in that room and you have enough space to move around because like i think the better your experience will improve when you have a bigger space. But before we get into that, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, all the above. It really pushes this video out in the algorithm and encourages me to make more videos. This video is brought to you by Brand Video Pro. We help brands and influencers scale their influence and sales. So if that is useful to you, head on over to our website, click the link down below and find out how we can help you. You can book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. You could book, you could, you know, order our online course teaching you all about this stuff. Uh, content creation and all of that and you can just reach out we have so many resources check that out all right let's begin um you could also have a stationary option like if you're sitting down or you're lying down in bed and you're watching something and i'm going to get to that in a bit like how fun so i'm just going to talk about some of the things that i i uh did whilst i was there so i went there the first day i tried it what did i do I checked that out. I, I just set it up and then I looked at the app store and I uh, it's it feels like you're they've found a really interesting way to sort of replicate the feeling of Apple and the app store in Apple. Uh, that's what Facebook has done here. And so you have this app store with all these different like games and all these different apps that you could use games, workouts. Um, different experiences you can there's Netflix on there there's YouTube what I love about YouTube in the metaverse is that you get this like you're in this vast space that's outdoors and you get this like really really massive screen that you can watch from and I love how big the screen is and it's in a void what I do prefer is if they use the same system that the Creed game used. I bought the Creed game and it was like all black and you, got, you get this big screen, and I feel like that's more immersive. Netflix also has that option, um, and, but Netflix, you're in like a living room and a couch, and you have this like really big screen. Uh, a little bit, a little thing that I would say is that I really, I enjoyed watching stuff on there, but I'd say about after like 40 minutes, it got too much for me. Uh, 40, like not even up to 40 minutes of like watching video content. And the thing is like, it looks, it looks realistic in, in terms of when you're watching like videos and you're watching movies, it looks, the quality is, is on par. The quality is on par as if you were using your uh, computer um, in, in terms of like, if you're watching. So like I, funny enough, in a previous video, I talked about like, what is the point? I kind of mentioned like, what is the point of watching stuff when you can use your computer and now i see the point it's the immersive experience that you get the surround sound like you're actually in a movie theater um and just the immersions and just the immersiveness of it so you're really really like feel like you're in there and that it completely takes your consciousness 
another thing that I thought was like nice and pleasurable is like I was lying straight down in bed. So I was lying in bed and I just like, my face was just up. And as my face is up, I'm just looking at the sky and I have this big screen because you can actually move where the screen goes. So I have this like massive screen just right up, you know, where I'm looking. And in the real world, I can't have a screen above my head unless I have a screen on my ceiling. Um, so it actually makes it more comfortable to watch stuff. Um, but the Netflix app didn't let me do that. It was only the YouTube app that let me do that. I think Netflix should step their game up. Or maybe there's some settings in the Netflix thing that I didn't find that I could have used to like change up uh, the configuration or the angles of my screen. But I thought that was really cool that I could just like lie in bed, look straight up as I'm lying in bed and just watch a dope YouTube video. Um, it's almost like you're in a hammock <laughs> or something and you're just like chilling, relaxing. Because um, in real life, I have to lay to the side to watch something. You know, I have to like, you have to do stuff, you have to sit up or you have to do crazy stuff just to watch something. But now the convenience of just like lying down and just looking up in the sky and you can watch whatever you want to watch. That's pretty dope if you ask me. Um, so that's one component. That's what I loved about the Netflix. And, you know, I don't know why HBO Max is not on there. Um, Amazon, I haven't checked Amazon Prime. I haven't checked. Uh, I think I did read that it is there, but I found YouTube, obviously YouTube VR. I found uh, Netflix and then some other experiences. So you can actually watch VR content or 360 video content. Um, and I should make a video about this, but that's an opportunity for any creator to make content in uh, 360 video because that's going to get you, um, it's going to help you um, get more engagement in a way for people as people are moving into the metaverse and getting Oculus headsets. Can I just mention that the price point, the price point of this is just absolutely fantastic. When you think about like using the internet, like the first time when the internet came out, um, the barrier to entry was buying a computer, right? And, and a computer is about how much it's about, you know, 2000, $2,500. I don't know how much it was in the early in the 80s, in the 90s when you were buying computers, but I imagine that the barrier to entry was pretty high. And if it was like $2,000 in, 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 in back then, that's so much more, it's probably like $4,000 today. So it was quite expensive to buy to, the barrier to entry in terms of the internet, but we've still found our way there. The barrier to entry with these uh, VR headsets is 200, is $300 just $300, like as cheap as a cell phone, like the cheap cell phone, not like an, you know, if, if you get an iPhone, you're, you're paying, you're paying a lot of money for your iPhones. So, you know, you're paying at least like a thousand dollars for, a, you know, iPhone, but for this, and you get so much out of this and it's only $300 to me, that's just like a great price, really smart pricing there because the barrier to entry is super, super low. So as I said, they really replicated the feeling of, of navigating through, I'd say the user experience of navigating through the app store in Apple, but this is so much more immersive. So you're there and you're, you know, you're on, you're in the metaverse, you're picking these apps, you're looking through, and it's just so exciting because of how immersive the experiences are. So after I did that, uh, I, you know, I checked out YouTube, I checked out all these platforms. I looked at some 360 videos, which were so immersive. You're in there, you look all around and like, you see this really cool video super super cool like you're in the sky literally flying through the sky and doing all of that super fun i mean if you've been if you've been in the metaverse before you you're very familiar with this but there's something different about because every time i've been in the metaverse i've either sort of like been at some like place like imax was doing like these like rentals or i'm being i've been at some sort of place where i didn't own the headset so it wasn't that easy like it wasn't you know, i don't know it, there's something different about you owning it and you knowing that anytime you want to be in the metaverse you can be in the metaverse and that's like really what what it is it's not like i'm going to an arcade and i'm like you know playing with vr headsets no this is my house this is my bedroom and i could put it on whenever i want there's something about that that makes it so much more fun um, I think it's the idea of the ownership of it. You know, you can access it whenever you want and you can see all the opportunities. There's so many opportunities in the metaverse. So, so many. I think I'm going to make a separate video about all the opportunities that I've seen so far. But let me keep going. So checked out. So, yeah, that's definitely an opportunity creating 360 video. And I checked out all the videos on there. I think that you would upload the videos. You could upload it on YouTube, but definitely on Facebook. That's where you really get to shine. 
um, if you upload like 360 videos on Facebook, um, I'm sure like their algorithms will promote you and all of that stuff. Uh, so that's another thing, right? After that, I went to go and, um, so they have these little like tutorial, uh, things, the Facebook Oculus, uh, setup system that kind of shows you how to you know, navigate or how to move around in the metaverse, how to utilize the metaverse. So it showed me how to pick up things. Like, first of all, it, I can see my real hands. It just sort of like did a thing where it tracked my real hand. So I don't have to wear these. I don't have to wear, I don't have to hold on to these. I can actually just take it off. And, and my real hands are visible. And so I was, everything I do with my hands, it's mirrored. Um, and they showed me how to grab things, pick things up, throw things around and all of that. That was really cool. That was fun. Um, and it's just, I mean, I was just so excited. I found myself screaming and shouting in so much excitement when I was there because it really felt like you were in this vast space, like just you there. So I can only imagine what my neighbors probably thought if they could hear me. But like, that's all, it's like you're there. It's so incredible. And you can't even realize that like you're actually talking in the real world. It feels like you're there and you're like, oh my God. And because the space is so big, you scream because it's like, it feels like you could echo, you know? So it's like, I love how immersive the experience is. And I'm like, when I, when I was there, I was like, yo, why does the real world even exist? And I know it sounds scary. It sounds super scary to people that like are in the real world and thinking about where we're headed, thinking about uh, Black Mirror and how they sort of demonize the metaverse or like technology. So I understand that perspective of how scary it is, but really like when you're there, it's kind of like, why does the real world even exist? Anyway, there are other components in it. Yeah, to set things up, I think at first you do need to log in with your Facebook, uh, you, with your Facebook login. And you can actually chat with your friends on Facebook and it shows you who's online and who's not. Unfortunately, I don't have too many friends yet. So I need to make some friends in the metaverse. Um, I need to make some friends in the metaverse or just like some of my friends are going to get the headset. So like we can hang out, we can play games, we can do all these different things. So actually the reason why I got these VR headsets is was to work out and boy, oh boy, was that the best experience? I got a real workout in, it was fun. It was exciting. Um, you could really feel when you were punching because I did like boxing. I also did the flow workout as well. You could really feel all the things that you're punching. The music was fantastic. I love the, they, that they got really good music licensing, even though some of the songs are old. But like it was just like it just really like put you in the mood, put you in the, you know, in the experience. And what I think is that that's that was always my problem with working out. Right. I used to do like these beach body on demand workouts, great, great, great programs. But after a while you just get tired and bored of it. And the idea that I could actually just like work out in a new, completely new, different location. Like that feels like it's real. Like I work out on the moon. I work out, you know, in Egypt, I work out like in the middle of the ocean and all these crazy things in an exotic Island. It was so cool that I could be in so many different places at once and work out and like get a real sweat. Like you can see me, I got a real, real sweat in there. That to me is so much fun. And that's just one of the games that I played. Um, I think it's called Supernatural. And there's so many other games that you could buy. So that's another opportunity in the metaverse. It's creating an app, creating like, Creating one of these games, like one of these metaverse games, one of, you know, that's a real big opportunity there, especially with like utility. When you think about utility, working out, that's something that people are going to probably buy these headsets just to do. One thing I will say is some of those apps are super expensive. Like you're paying like $40 for some of them, $30 for an app, <sighs> like even on like, I guess we're just all used to like the iPhone and stuff and you're not paying more than like $5 for most apps if that, if you're even paying at all, but a lot of these apps, you have to pay for them. So that part I did not really like. Other than that, I had so much fun. I had a blast. I definitely do recommend that everyone gets a pair of these. Like this is the future. This is where the world is heading. And so if you wanna be an early adopter, 
because I really think that the metaverse right now is for people that obviously want to use it as consumers because they have pretty good like stuff apps in there that you can use but it's really also for people to get on there and look at the opportunities um, because you guys are going to be the builders of the metaverse if you go on there you look at the opportunities and then you create business out of it for when there's going to be a rush it's going to be a rush of people that just move in and i used to funny enough i used to say like the metaverse is coming in like 10 years or five years i think it's coming sooner i think it's coming a lot sooner um but right now it's not a necessity uh it's just a great great thing to have especially the utility aspect of working out that's the best utility i haven't had any like uh any like uh vr sort of like uh chats i know they have like chat vr they have different like apps where you could like work uh have a conference call with people i haven't done that yet i should do that that'll be super fun again i don't have friends yet i don't have friends in the metaverse so i need to make friends in the metaverse so guys follow me in the metaverse add me in the metaverse let's talk let's have a conversation that'll be super fun uh clubhouse needs to be in the metaverse that'd be super dope clubhouse would do well in the metaverse that would be so cool to have club like imagine having like clubhouse but you're in this like virtual space and you see all the people and it could be thousands of people in a place in the metaverse yo clubhouse get on this or somebody should go and replicate a clubhouse and put it in the metaverse so many opportunities so many ideas for apps um this is where the world is headed so definitely get these check it out okay so then the question is which vr headset should i get which vr headset should i get Maybe I'm going to make a whole video about this, but I'll just briefly say right now that I absolutely think that Facebook was the right choice for me. Um, Facebook was the right choice for me because I am a mainstream consumer. I consume the way mainstream uh, consumers consume. And I like the convenience of it. I like that they have an app store. Like, because when you think about it, because some people say, get the, get the metaverse needs to be decentralized and you shouldn't um you shouldn't go to like facebook's centralized version of the metaverse and that's one way to look at it but my thing is like you have to follow consumer behavior and most people like the convenience of the metaverse that facebook is creating it's easy it's seamless they really replicated apple's user experience ux right so they've replicated what Apple has done very well. And like, it's just like seamless. So like for me as a consumer, I want it to be as easy as possible because there's already so much for me to explore. I don't need the difficulty of having some sort of decentralized system that feels like I'm using a Windows computer, uh, but in the metaverse. I want something that's easy to use, simplified, gets me to where I need to go as easy as possible because it's already complicated anyway. Some aspects of it are complicated. You know, the fact, at least when you're first starting out, learning how to like use your hands, each different game requires like different things that you press, buttons that you press, you know? So like just learning the logistics of it or the tech, technical, technicality of it is difficult in and of itself. So the idea of having a metaverse that is like, I don't know, not as simple, not as simplified as what Facebook has created is just not appealing to me. I do, I do want to see what Apple does, but I don't think Apple's going to catch up on this because Facebook has, how long have they had this? Oculus has been around since 2012. Facebook bought, bought Oculus in 2014. So that's about seven years of them building this seven years and it's only now just catching on now unless apple has been doing and this is seven years of this product has been out in the market people have been using it they've been improving it they've been doing all sorts of things with it it's been out apple like it doesn't even have any product that's similar in the marketplace not that i know of so for them to catch up and get users on their platform they're well behind. So I don't think Apple's going to win this game. Facebook was really smart in doing this and seeing that Mark Zuckerberg was super smart for seeing this in 2012 and understanding the vision. Cause I remember back in 2014 or 2015, I was like excited about 360 video, but the world wasn't ready for it. 
um, as a creator, I was like, yo, that is where people need, that's where the world is heading, but I was like too soon. So I just kind of had to be patient and wait. But now is the time to start like creating content that is VR. I want to see more films in 360. If you really want to have a cutting edge as a filmmaker, create stuff in 360, try and sell it to Netflix. That will give you a competitive edge because Netflix is in the metaverse and they're going to want to have content in 360 for them to sort of be a part of that story. That would be attractive to them. So a lot of Hollywood productions have 360 videos that you could be a part of. I mean, it's cool, but lots of things to think about. It's really cool where the world is heading. This experience was great, immersive. I can't wait to use it again. I'm going to go, I think when I'm done with this, I'm going to go use it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty addictive. Um, it's pretty addictive. Screen time is a problem. Don't get too much screen time. Uh, but other than that, like, it's super cool. And let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, all the above. My name is Kenum, and see you next time. Peace.